I am uh, John Shaw Taylor. I'm a professor of computer science at uh, University College London, where I'm also head of the computer science department. I am also a director of the Knowledge for All Foundation, uh, which is a ch UK charity uh, involved in development for uh, AI, for education, uh, and sustainable development goals. And finally, I have a role as uh, a UNESCO Chair of Artificial Intelligence. So artificial intelligence is a tool, and we must always think of it in that way. Uh, it's very important we don't get confused by thinking of it as somehow taking over. It's a tool, it's a very sophisticated tool. It's also making us rethink who we are as human beings, which is, I think, also very useful for humanity and, and very positive. But it also has many, many risks, and there are ways in which it is being misused, which we need to be wary of, guard against, and counter. So we need to use our intelligence and artificial intelligence to counter the negative, potential negative effects. That said, there is huge upsides that can be gained through the use of AI in a whole range of areas that are relevant for sustainable development goals. Just understanding problems properly, analyzing them, understanding how they can be best tackled, these are appropriate for resource implications and use, for climate change, for um, new technologies, for producing fuels, for example, and so on, recycling. There are huge numbers. Perhaps the one I would focus on most is education, where I believe AI can enhance the educational provision and uh, experience of countless people across the globe because it can enable access to high quality education for the masses. Uh, and up until now, the resources have been available, they're there, but it's very difficult to navigate through the vast plethora of material and find the right material for your level, for your understanding, for your interests. But with AI to assist, it is very much an attainable, I think, in the next five years, that we can see systems that will enable people to learn at the level that they are at, at the pace that they're able to, to reach, in the direction that they want to go, and that will make them skilled for the jobs that are available for them and for their society to be enhanced. So this is a huge potential uplift that has feed-on effects to all of the other sustainable development goals. So that will be my number one. I think that is my Blue Skies project. Uh, I wouldn't mind formulating another one, which would be, um, I think, the other thing that I believe we're seeing as a negative effect of AI is its uh, ability to manipulate people. And I believe that it is actually created, and the internet generally, we expected it to bring people together. And in some respects, it has done the opposite. It's separated people into small interest groups, what are called echo chambers. And we need to use AI to break down those echo chambers, to build communities back together. And this is something that is very much more a blue sky effort because it will involve state-of-the-art machine translation, understanding the dynamics of the conversation, interfering in potentially giving people additional perspectives and understandings and information, not manipulating. And that's where we have to really understand the difference between informing and manipulating. And we have to, it's not an easy distinction. And people are using AI now to manipulate. We have to use it to inform. And that is the key to, I think, solving many of the, let's say, the conflicts and the disagreements among peoples if we can address that. Super. Super. Okay.